Well, hello viewers. Thanks for coming back to my channel. It, yes, it's Peter Elgar, the funny old bloke from Brentwood, Essex, England. Um, I'm just going to explain my absence from YouTube because my subscribers may be getting what's happened to me. Well, the reason is a couple of things are not very pleasant have happened to me and um, I've not been active on YouTube. The first thing was I had to have an operation on my head for squamous cell carcinoma skin cancer and I'd been waiting ages because this alien growth kept coming up on my head and I thought I've already had it cut out once in 2018 I had basal cell carcinoma cut out in Broomfield Hospital, Chelmsford and then this alien growth, a huge warp thing kept coming out and all scabbing horrible. So I finally had it checked out, dermatology at Basildon Hospital. And they sent me to Canvey Island Clinic there and they cut a bit off for a biopsy and it came back as squamous cell carcinoma. Well that's different because basal cell is not too bad but squamous cell carcinoma cancer can spread. I, oh, I didn't want it to spread like my friend in USA, Florida, old schoolmate. All the side of his face, it's all eaten away with squamous cell carcinoma skin cancer. And his eyes all half closed. He's had five operations. It looks dreadful, like something out of the Phantom of the Opera. When he sent me photographs, I thought, oh my God. So they, they finally took me in and I had a piece cut off the top of my head. And then they put some skin graft on. They took it from under my arm here. So I've got a sort of a wound there now, which is healed up a bit, a bit bumpy, but it's healed up. And they stuck that bit of skin on the top. And then on top they stitched a great big high, strange dressing thing, which I've never seen such a thing. It wasn't just a cotton wool pad. It was a solid thing. And I had that on for a couple of weeks till I had to go back to the dressing clinic and have it taken off. In the meantime, I had a second operation come up, which was a cataract operation on my right eye. Within a few days. Now, I've been waiting a, a year for that. Oh, my God. Anyway, first of all, when I, ha when I went back to have the dressing taken off, they, said, they had a look at it and they said, oh, that's not too bad. It, it's taking all right. So I thought, well, why is it all scabby? I'll show you as much as I can. It was all scabby still. Worse than that, they said, I said, can I wash it? They said, well, don't get it. Don't put direct water onto it. You can just wash it gently. And then I found out there are dissolvable sketches in that bit. And they, they should come out, but it's been like that since February the 18th. The stitches have still not come out. So the top of my head's all scabby still. And... That will never grow hair again because they've shaved it all off and all hair follicles are gone. So in the meantime, I turned up to King George's Hospital for my cataract. We've been waiting a year for that. I didn't want to, didn't want to um, not delete it, not have the operation. I've been waiting so long. So you go in there in a waiting room, they put some eye drops in, which is an anaesthetic. And then after a while, your name is called, they wheel you into an operating theatre. So you lie down on the table and they put a cover over, over your eye, leaving a hole in for your right eye. So the left, le left eye is all covered up with a sterile sheet. Now I'm not too worried about that bit because having been in the Royal Army Medical Corps, I know all about these sterile sheets and things when you have operation. I'm not too keen on having anybody mess about with my eyes because being a photographer, I won't be able to look through my camera. I thought, oh my God, what's going to happen? Then they brought over a great big white light on top of me, huge bright, it's right in your eye. And then the surgeon put some other liquid in your eye. And all, it all like splashes, and you can't see anything. You can't see them digging anything into your eye. No, you don't see any instruments at all. All you can see is a white light and a load of like liquid. So we, you don't know what they're up to. So that, that she, then the surgeon started and then in, in the meantime I must have stopped breathing because she said, please keep keep breathing, keep breathing. 
I must have stopped breathing. I was so tensed up. Then a young Filipina nurse came and held my hand. I like I liked that bit. That was wasn't too bad about the cataract operation. Having a young Filipina nurse. You can't see her, of course, because the left eye is covered and they're messing about with you, right? You can't see anything at all. Only a bright light with a load of liquid. So then I must have started breathing again. It's like like when you're going to heaven, you see a bright light. I thought to myself, am I going to come back from this white light? Because I've got, I don't want to go to heaven quite yet. I've got too much out of date film and old cameras to mess about with. So anyway, I heard her say, well, the cataract is out now. I thought, well, that's good. And then they put in a plastic lens. They take your old lens out, which is covered with cataract dump it or do something with it they put in a plastic lens now, this must be made according to the prescription which from their notes they've had over the tests you know from a year ago mine is minus 2.5 with some other stuff because i'm myopic so then after a while they said that's done now we're nearly finished and then they put over an eye shield plastic eye shield over the right eye like that and then they stick it with sticky tape all over your head so you go like that you've got this eye shield on all stuck with sticky tape like like a pirate ah gym lad so then they wheeled me out and i was taken home by hospital transport and i arrived at the door with me eye all taped up now i had to go to bed like that and it was my eye was completely stuck together with all the tears and the liquids they put in my eye. My eye was all stuck. I couldn't open it. And, and I thought, oh, what am I going to do? In the morning, my boy had to, we had to get some boiled water because they say in the instruction sheet, love instructions here, don't put tap water in it because there's bacteria in the tap water. They have to have boiled water. And my boy helped me to wipe it gently with cotton buds so I could get rid of all the sticky stuff and dissolve it away and gradually unstick my eyelashes so I could s hopefully see something but my eye muscle wasn't working properly and I tried to unopen it you know look, all I could see was a vague vague shape so it's all blue I thought to myself oh bloody well the white balance is different in that eye to this eye that eye looks all yellow and dim this eye looks all blue and bright. I thought, what's going to happen? And then, I, according to the instructions, you've got to put in this eye patch for two weeks. My God, I put it in one, one day. I had it on, in for one night only. After that, I thought, I'd blow that. I'm not going to put that in for two blinking weeks. I have difficulty sleeping as it is, so I left it off. In the meantime, they give you a load of drops. Now, in the instructions, in the instruction sheet, you've got two lots of drops, or three lots of drops, because I've got trouble with my left eye. And then what they're going to do about that, I'm not certain, but I've got a load of drops here, in this box, and it's one drop a day in your left eye, and you've got, a t these, are dis these are one little dose things. You tear one of those off, and break that and you then you lie back and you squeeze a drop into your left eye only the left eye and what that does i'm not certain because i don't know why i've got to have that in my left eye they haven't said they're going to do a cataract in my left eye no they haven't mentioned that but in the right eye i have got two little bottles of drops one was an antibiotic and one is a steroid now you've got the first one is four times a day for two weeks. That's the antibiotic. And this one is a steroid thing. Four times a day for four weeks. So you have to unscrew this. And then you get somebody to help you. Gently pull it back. And then you lie back, unscrew it. And press it from the bottom. So that one drop goes in your eye like that. And then you sort of flutter your eye and mix it all in. <laughs> Oh, I've got a So I found gradually my right eye has cleared and I can see better. Now, I, it's 
it's clear that it's not absolutely pin sharp, but when I put that over my, cover my left eye like this, this is the new lens in here, everything is brighter and bluer, and I can focus distances much better. Not absolutely sharp, because I, I still need spectacles, I think, to correct it. It's not absolutely pin sharp, but it's much better than when it was. But the trouble is, it's my left eye now. When I go like that, that is all yellowish and, and much dimmer and well out of focus. So now I'm stuck. What to do? I've got to wait until March the 29th, a couple more weeks before I have a follow-up appointment and I'm going to ask them, what can I do? Because they're way out of balance. But I can see better without having to wear my spectacles anymore. Because when I put my spectacles on now, because of the, <laughs> the new lens in this eye, it's, all, it's out of focus. I can see better and I can focus my cameras through my right eye. So that is much bluer and that one is dim and yellow. So there we are folks. I haven't been able to do much on YouTube for a while. And then thank God I don't have to have the eye patch on. Ah, gym lad, like a pirate anymore. So I'm hoping I'll come back shortly and do some more videos. But in the meantime, I'm going to play around with my old cameras and enjoy myself and use up some more out of date film thanks for watching see you later now oh, then i can turn this flipping thing off <laughs>